The Voice of the Brotherhood I wish to speak to you now about the Voice of the Brotherhood. It has been known as the White Brotherhood. It has been known as the Brotherhood of Light. Is there a Brotherhood? Yes, there is. Should we call it a Brotherhood or a Sisterhood? Well, we can call it either one, because it has no gender, truly. But for the patriarchal society throughout generations, it has been known as the Brotherhood. It is truly a coming together of higher understanding. The higher selves of you have communion with the Brotherhood. Now, we have spoken many times that you do a most wonderful miracle of focusing upon the self, lowercase s, the personality, the body of this incarnation. You do a miracle in every moment that says, This is who I am, this personality, this body, this career, this is who I am, shutting out all the rest of what you are. It is truly a miracle of creation that you do, and yet you have taught yourself to do it with a precision moment by moment that makes it seem as a continuum, and it is a miracle. The Council of One is also the Brotherhood of Sisterhood. So perhaps it is a better semantics to speak of it as the Council of One, because you all have a seat at that round table. There is not a higher or lower place. It is a round table, the same as one in your writing with O Omega. The voice that speaks to you is going to be more and more apparent as time proceeds. You have already decreed that you want to know, what is life all about? You have already decreed that you want to know, how can we bring more harmony, more understanding of myself and others, as you have put it? How can I bring more and more understanding to my relationships and see the equality of each divine being that is incarnating as a point of light? That is truly who and what you are, a point of light. We have talked about how you do the miracle of the coalescence of light into the denser form to bring about the body. I was here as you were here when our Holy Mother the Earth became a densified being. We, as one, created our Holy Mother the Earth, the Earth that so many of the brothers and sisters walk upon in this day and time and take for granted that it is going to be there when they put the foot down. If they were to realize that our Holy Mother the Earth is light the same as they are, and that it is a miracle every time they put the foot down, that there is something underneath the foot that becomes dense in that moment, and they may not have been dense a moment before, if they were to realize that, they would stand in awe of the divine energy of being. Was it solid a moment ago? In truth, no. That boggles the mind a wee bit, because that is not what has been taught to you throughout generations. But you make your own creation moment by moment, and the one that you are, the voice of the brotherhood, of the council of the one, the voice is calling out to you more and more loudly to take a moment to listen, to take a moment to breathe in deeply the inspiration of the divine being, the possibility that that which has seemed to be dense, the body, our holy mother earth, Relationships that seem to be dense are in truth very malleable, changeable, and that you can change. You can change yourself and you can change what is happening around you. It is powerful when you begin to remember what you are, not just who you are, because that brings it back to feeling that you are a certain personage. But when you begin to remember what you are, the extension of the one creator, the one creative isness, thought itself going forward, creating moment by moment the very chair that you sit on, creating moment by moment the very vehicle that you drive, creating moment by moment the reality that you say you live in. And when you stop and you listen for the voice, it changes everything around you. And so you begin to live from a space of light, lightheartedness. You begin to live from a place that says, this is a reality. Whatever befalls me in the day as far as experiences, that is part of reality. But it is not all of reality. And I can understand it in a greater context as I listen for the voice of my higher self, the voice that is not attached to the body or to this reality. Now, the habitual way of looking at things is to make instant judgment, and that has served you very well for generations and eons of time, because it has allowed you to defend, to keep the same state of beingness that which you thought was important the body, the dwelling place, the loved ones. But you have also seen that you are repeating patterns, and with the realization that you are repeating a pattern, you even have a saying in this world that history repeats itself. When you have realized that there is a repeating pattern, there is a moment of awakening. That is the moment when you begin to ask, what more is going on here? That is the moment when you listen for the voice of the brotherhood. Now, we are all equal masters. That is very, very difficult to accept, as you see yourself just to be human. You have not been taught by your religious philosophical authorities that we are equal. All of the religious philosophical orders have had a great teacher that they have listened to in the beginning, caught some of the great ideas, and gained enlightenment. 
and that as time went on, the teacher has been elevated to a pedestal way above any of the common people. But the truth is that we are all equal masters, all extensions of life in various forms and understanding. You are going to want to know the voice of the brotherhood that is removed enough in the place of beholder that we have spoken of many times into the place of beholder where the whole picture can be seen. The holy picture. Whole. W-H-O-L-E. Holy. H-O-L-Y. The whole tapestry of what is going on. Not just one or two or three threads of the tapestry, but to be able to catch hold of the whole picture and to see which thread you are and to see how you weave with the other threads to make the most wonderful evolution of human consciousness to the place of remembrance of divinity. That is what you are working towards, the place of remembrance of the consciousness of divinity which allows you to be the extension and the expression of divinity even in reality that does not believe that there could be divine intervention. Divine intervention? That is you. Every time you choose to listen to the voice, Every time you choose to come up higher in your understanding of who and what you are, and who and what the other brothers and sisters are, you have done divine intervention. You have allowed the power of the masters that you are to step down the vibration enough to make the density of a body, to live within a reality that yet says that it is dense. But at any moment you are able to do the divine intervention of saying, Hey, I am the master that is creating moment by moment. I am creating this body, this experience, this reality. And in that moment, everything has to change. In that moment of divine realization of what you are, the same as I am, the Christ, that is divine intervention at its highest level. The Christ of you walks his earth and can see it once again in its beauty, in its original beauty as the light being that she is. Allow yourself to be the divine intervention that cleans up Holy Mother Earth by your thoughts and by your actions. Allow yourself to live in joy and to appreciate the light being that we brought into manifest form cooperatively as Holy Mother Earth. Recognize her voice calling to you. It is the simple life of trust, listening to the voice which allows you to know that you are not confined to this reality. As you will allow yourself to listen to the still, small voice, the voice of the brotherhood, the voice of the council of one, the voice of the master that you are, you will take a deep breath and you will allow, judge not. Judge not, lest ye be judged, because in that moment you are judged by your own judgment, standing in the middle of the hayfield of judgment. Allow yourself to listen to the voice of the Master that you are, to see everything from a place of light. Allow even the molecules of whatever seems to be dense to expand, so that you can see the light in between every molecule, the light that is in between every word that is spoken, every thought that is thought, every choice that is made. Allow yourself to focus on the light, and that beloved one will bring you home. Come home unto me.